Charles Stepney, Out of the Shadows, is the latest installment of the Millennium Park Summer Music Series. It serves as a tribute to one of the most underrated pioneers of Chicago soul music. And joining us now with more are Charles Stepney's daughters, Charlene and Eber. Thank you guys for coming in. This has got to be a great honor. The city of Chicago is finally coming around and recognizing your father for the pioneering work he did, working with some of the biggest acts yeah. in r and I right. mean, Earth, Wind & Fire, yeah. Minnie Riverton, The Dells. Yes, yes. When did you first find out that your father was the man? <laughs> oh, we never found out. He, he, no, it was a normal part of life. Um, he had been a musician his whole life. So having uh, people come in and out of our home all the time was very, very normal. And I'm not sure we knew they were famous either until we were a little older. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I, I've heard your dad be referenced to like the next, another Quincy Jones. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. Why do you think it's taken so long for him to get the attention that he deserves, Charlene? I think that intentionally he wanted to be with his family. So he chose not to be a performing artist. Um, and Marshall Chess was the one who told him, like, you probably won't want that life. And so he made a very conscientious decision to be behind the scenes. So I think that it maybe set a trajectory for him where people just didn't know who he was. He was okay with it, but unfortunately, nobody knows, they only know his music. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They don't know the work that he did, which right. is tremendous. I mean, Apple just did a beautiful, uh, exhaustive list, and they sent it to us the other day. Mm -hmm. Playlist is called Charles Stepney Behind the uh, board, board, right? Yeah. Behind the Boards. Mm -hmm. It is incredible. I'm still listening to songs, I was like, that was, didn't Macy Gray sample that? I, yeah. I didn't even know. Oh, wow. It's right. So it's amazing to hear his touch on the industry that the average person has no idea about. Would you also say it contributed that your father passed so young yes. that maybe yes. that's probably yes. why yes. he didn't get Absolutely. his flowers? You know? and, and to be quite honest, I think that I even thought growing up, he couldn't have done that much before 45, right? <laughs> uh -huh. But as you listen, he, he was working clearly all the time. Okay. And because he had so many capacities, you know, he was not just uh, a composer. He yeah. was a ranger. He was a producer. He was a conductor. Uh -huh. So he was working intensely all that time. And we find out new things almost every day. Mm -hmm. People are like, did you know he did this? Did you know he did that? And I'm right. like, this is overwhelming. Uh -huh. <laughs> How yeah. did he do all of that? How did he do it? Right. <laughs> Jay-Z, uh, Kanye West, they right. all referenced him. Mm -hmm. I, I heard the new song that got released. It's not new, but new to us. Right. Are you guys slowly releasing more things as the tribute gets bigger and bigger? Uh, actually, there is a release uh, uh, of a total album in um, September is called Step on Step. Mm -hmm. He always wanted to do his own album and call it Step on Step. So we've gathered together uh, his pieces in process and we put that together with an international anthem. Yes. So we're very excited and, about that. In fact, that's the way the world is his original song, the music. Mm -hmm. So we just released that maybe about three or four weeks ago. Yeah. 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 So, so that's exciting. So for some of the people at home, Give them uh, some titles, something that they would recognize that he did, but wouldn't know it because his name wasn't out there, out there. Well, I mean, the Earth, Wind & Fire songs are big. He arranged Stay in My Corner for the Dells. Mm. Uh, Ramsey Lewis, his Maiden Voyage album, he's known for that. Minnie Riperton's Lay Fleur is very, very popular now. I mean, mm -hmm. it's been used on Microsoft recently. It was in the Chris Hemsworth Netflix uh, trailer mm. that he just did, or a spider or something. But I mean, so those are songs, like if we go over commercials, just his commercial use alone now yeah. Yeah. is pretty incredible. I can't imagine once the the, new, the net album's released in September, how much further it can go into the future. Tell us about the event that's coming up. So this Saturday, uh, Thursday, this Thursday <laughs> at, at Millennium Park from 6.30 to 9, the city of Chicago will be honoring my father. And my sister has put together a band with International Anthem called Rotary 222, uh, led by Junius Paul, who is a really prominent new jazz artist here. Mm -hmm. And so they're doing Rotary Connection 222. They're doing the tribute to my dad. So um, we're really excited about that. So please, everybody. Yeah, and they'll be playing songs like Reasons uh, from Earth, Wind mm -hmm. & Fire, Lay Floor, of course, That's Where the World, Shining Star, everything that he had his hands on. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so quite a few. Uh, free to the public? Absolutely. Yes. Yes, okay, it is. so we can meet the Pac J Pritzker yeah. Pavilion, yes. so everybody yes. can see. And I think this is going to be a surprise to a lot of people. They're going to be like, "Oh man, he, he did, did that too. Yeah. He did that." <laughs> like that's, that's the reaction we're hoping for. Yes. 